The next thing that we need to do is we need to take a look at our elevation a little bit more closer. And we have changed the X and Y coordinate system to from meters to feet. So if I go to properties, I can see here that the cell size in the X and Y has already been converted from meters to feet. But one thing that hasn't been converted to meters and feet is the elevation. So we can see here that our low point is 338.95 and our high point is 416.014. Sometimes you may get data and you're not sure if the elevation is in units or feet. One way that you can tell if this is in units and feet is to compare it with Google Earth. So I'm going to go ahead and open Google Earth. I'm just going to let the globe spin. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in. So this is our project site in Google Earth. And we can notice down here the elevation is around, if I move my mouse over here, is 1336 feet, roughly. And if we go back to ArcMap, we see that it is about three times less than that, so we know that this is in meters. So we actually need to convert our elevation from meters to feet so it matches the X and Y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the raster calculator, and that is located in the ARC toolbox. I'm going to go to the Spatial Analyst Tools. I'm going to go to Map Algebra, and I'm going to double click on the Raster Calculator. I'm going to actually make this a little bit smaller here. So we can either drag and drop our raster into here, or we can select from the list up here. And I'm just going to select from the list up here. We're going to use the Marlin Park LiDAR 2 meter. And I want to multiply this times 3.2808399 and the reason why is because 1 meter equals 3.2808399 feet and then for our output raster I'm actually going to now save this into the geo database because there's nothing more that I need to do to this so I'm going to call this Marlette Park LiDAR, I'm going to add the letter A after it for adjacent and 2 meters to indicate this is 2 meter LiDAR. And right now it's in feet. So actually I'm just going to add the word feet on the end and then click save. And everything is set the way that I need it to, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And we see down here that the tool is running. and it adds it to the data frame. So I'm going to right click on this and go to properties and make sure that everything is as it should be. I can see that my XY cells are still correct. Spatial projection is in the correct spatial projection. I've also saved it to the correct location and named it what I wanted to name it. And then over here we can see that the high point is roughly three times that, and this value is pretty close to what we saw in Google Earth.